Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, cherubim and wheels working together. Uh, scripture reference, Ezekiel 1, verse 15, part A. Now, as I looked at the living creatures, I saw a wheel on the earth beside the living creatures. Ezekiel 10, verse 9, and I looked and behold, there were four wheels beside the cherubim, one beside each cherub. So each wheel has a corresponding cherub. The cherub and the wheel belong to each other. In each of the three cases above, the word is translated as beside. Now, this is the Hebrew preposition, etzel. And for Strong's concordance, the word can be defined as a joining together, proximity. So the idea is the wheel and the cherub are joined together. So we got three references we're going to take a look at in Ezekiel 10 and in Ezekiel 1 is where all the action is in regards to these wheels. Uh, Ezekiel 10, verse 17, part B, for the spirit of the living beings was in the wheels. Ezekiel 1.20, wherever the spirit wanted to go, they went and the wheels rose along with them for the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. Ezekiel 1, verse 21, part B, for the spirit of the living beings was in the wheels. So that's essentially just restated. Ezekiel 10, 17B and Ezekiel 1, 21B, same thing. And the idea, the spirit of the individual cherub is housed in the wheel. The spirit of the cherub is outside of its body. So the cherub needs its wheel. The cherub and spirit are in sync body and spirit. So unlike, you know, a human, we are body, soul, spirit. If you're a believer, spirit housed in the body. Now, in the case of these cherubs, their spirit is housed outside the body in a wheel. Ezekiel 10, verse 16, 17, 19a, when the cherubim move, the wheels move beside them. And even when they spread their wings to rise from the ground, the wheels did not veer away from their side. When the cherubim stood still, the wheels also stood still. When they ascended, the wheels ascended with them, for the spirit of the living creatures was in them. As I watched, the cherubim lifted their wings and rose up from the ground with the wheels beside them as they went. And we'll also take a look at Ezekiel 1, verses 17, 19 through 21. Again, we're looking at wheels and their movement coinciding with the cherubim. When they went, they went in any of their four directions without turning as they went. And when the living creatures went, the wheels went beside them. And when the living creatures rose from the earth, the wheels rose. Wherever the spirit wanted to go, they went, and the wheels rose along with them. For the spirit of the living creature, creatures was in the wheels. When those went, these went. And when those stood, these stood. And when those rose from the earth, the wheels rose along with them. For the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. So movement and the idea of synch synchronicity uh, is the idea. The individual cherub and its wheels move together wherever they go. So the direction doesn't matter, up, down, sideways. The wheel sticks to the cherub like glue regardless of the speed or direction. The two work together as a concurrent coexisting team. And roughly 2,600 years ago, Ezekiel saw these things on earth in what is modern day eastern Syria. So if you find this thing interesting, this will be categorized under angels. Uh, you can also scroll up here to the top of the website uh, under our, you, you are following this blog. There will also be a box where you can click on the box or a blank where you can type in your email address and receive notification every time we put something up. So appreciate you guys following along. Hope you enjoy the series. This is all part of a greater series on angels. And um, appreciate you following. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.